Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find out the longest increasing subsequence in an array by using dynamic programming. So let's first see what is longest increasing subsequence. So for that we will take an example. So see if this is the array then there can be many increasing subsequences in the array and we have to find out the longest increasing subsequence. So here see for this array the subsequence 1 is the increasing subsequence then the subsequence 2 is also the increasing subsequence in the array. So let's see see 8 then 20 40 60 and 70. So this is the first increasing subsequence okay then let's see the second subsequence 9 then 21 32 49 60 and 70 okay so this is the second increasing subsequence like this there can be many more increasing subsequence in the same array but we have to find out the longest increasing subsequence so here we can see the length of the subsequence 2 is the highest and that length is 6 because there are 6 elements in this subsequence okay see 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 and this is the longest increasing subsequence among all the subsequences which can be found out in this array and this subsequence need not be consecutive in original array means you can see 9 21 then 32 49 60 they are not consecutive in the array but they are in this sequence okay so that is the meaning the longest increasing subsequence need not be consecutive in the original array now let's see how do i directly come to the conclusion that this is the longest increasing subsequence. How do I know that? Because I have not found out any other subsequences. I have just shown you the two subsequences and I am directly saying that this is the longest increasing subsequence. Okay? So how do I do that? So for that we are going to use dynamic programming. So by using dynamic programming we are going to trace the original array at each position and for every position in this array we are going to check whether that index is suitable in the longest increasing subsequence or not. So we are going to check every index of this array and for tracing the array we are going to use two variables that is i and j. Okay? So i variable will point to each location in the array and for every i means for every index i j will start at the beginning every time and along with that we are going to use two arrays one array is storing the length of the subsequence and another array is storing the subsequence itself means what is that subsequence the elements in the subsequence okay so that is the third array so now for dynamic programming the base condition is that you have to put length 1 in every cell of the array okay means we are considering that every single element is a longest increasing subsequence of length 1 okay obviously see each element individually is a longest increasing subsequence of length 1. So that is the base condition. And then we are going to find out the longest increasing subsequence of lengths more than 1. Okay. So now let's trace this array. So for tracing the array we are going to use the variable i and i will start from index 1. Okay because we already have the longest increasing subsequence of length 1. So if we start at position 0 means at index 0 that will be the first longest increasing subsequence of length 1. 
which we have already found out. So we will start at index 1. Okay. And for every time i is incremented, j will again start from the beginning. Okay. So as we go further, you will perfectly understand this algorithm. So let's start. See, check whether the element at index 0 means at index j is less than the element at index i. Yes, in this case, yes, 0 is less than 4 means this element at index i can be the element in the increasing subsequence. Okay. And what will be the length of that subsequence? C. That length will be the length till the previous element means till index j plus 1. So what is the length at index j? C. This is the length at index j. Okay. So, 1 plus 1. So, that length is this 1 plus this 1 for the extra element which is now added to the increasing subsequence. This is now added to the increasing subsequence. So, we are adding that 1, the length 1. Okay. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. And then we have to note down the index of j at this position in the subsequence array. That means now we have to write index 0 here. See what it means that at index i the previous element in the increasing subsequence was at the 0th index. So this is the index of the previous element in the increasing subsequence. Okay. So, we have to note down that. Now, as j has reached i, now i will increment and j will again start from the beginning. Okay? So, see, whether 0 is less than 12? Yes, it is less than 12. So, let's update the length. See, here what you have to write now? The length at j that is 1, 1 plus 1. So, that is 2 here. And increment j. Every time j will start at the beginning and it will go up to i. Okay. So, we incremented j. Check. Whether 4 is less than 12? Yes, it is less than 12. So, now, what is the length at j? That is 2. Okay. So, 2 plus this 1. The extra added element. So 2 plus 1 is 3. Okay. So we have the length 3. And the already present length is 2. So you have to choose the maximum. So out of 3 and 2. You have to choose the max. Maximum of 3 and 2. So what is the maximum of 3 and 2? That is 3. Means we are opting for the maximum length. We are preferring the maximum length of the subsequence. Okay. And what should we note down here? See. What is the previous element? What we have preferred? The jth index. Means the index 1. So I write it here. Now as j has reached i. Let's increment i. And j will again start at the beginning. Okay, now 0 is less than 2. Yes, it is less than 2. So 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 is greater than 1. So I update this 1 and write 2 here. Now note down the previous element position 0. See, this 0 is not yet fixed. It's not fixed yet because till j reaches i, there can be some other position which we prefer. There can be some other index which we prefer. So this 0 may change and this length also may change. Okay. Let's increment j. Now 4 is less than 2. No, it is not. So just increment j. Nothing is updating because 4 is not less than 2. Okay. 
So J is incremented. Now 12 is less than 2. No, it is not. So nothing is going to update. And as J has reached I, there is no scope of incrementing J. So increment I and J will again start at the beginning. Okay. That means this index is correct now because we didn't find any other index which is preferred at this position. So 0 will be fixed there. And let's go for the next loop now. So now, so check whether 0 is less than 10. Yes, it is less than 10. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So 2 is greater than 1. So I write here 2. You see, I update 2 here. And I write the index of j here. Okay. And increment j. Check whether 4 is less than 10. Yes, it is less than 10. So check 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 is greater than 2. Means I write 3 here and what is that index? Preferred index is 1. Okay. So increment j. Now 12 is greater than 10. Means 12 is not less than 10. So just increment j. There is no point in updating. Now 2 is less than 10. Yes it is. So 2 plus 1 is 3. See this 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 is equal to 3. Okay. 3 is equal to 3. So you can prefer any length because both are same. See the length from index 1 is equal to the length at index 3. Okay. So you can prefer anything. So I prefer the latest one. So means I will keep the length 3 here and I write the index 3 here. Okay. Now you can choose anyone. You can even write 1 here. Okay. So it's your choice. Now as j has reached i, let's increment i and j will again start at the beginning. Now check whether 0 is less than 6. Yes, it is less than 6. So 1 plus 1 is 2. I update it to here and write index 0 here. Okay. Now j is incremented. Check whether 4 is less than 6. Yes. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So I update 3 here because 3 is greater than 2. And write index 1 here. Okay. And increment j. Now 12 is less than 6. No, it is not. So no updating. We only increment. 2 is less than 6. Yes, it is less than 6. So this 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 is equal to 3. Means you can either update or no update. Means you can prefer the index from 1 or the index from 3. Means you can prefer any index. Okay. I prefer the latest one and I update it with the latest value 3 and I write the index 3 here. And increment J. So check whether 10 is less than 6. No, it is not less than 6. So there is no point of updating and there is no scope of incrementing now. So I is incremented and J will again start at the beginning. So now 0 is less than 9. Yes, it is less than 9. So 1 plus 1 is 2 and 2 is updated here. Index 0 is updated in the subsequence array. Now J is incremented. Check. 4 is less than 9. Yes, it is. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 is greater than 2. So I write 3 here and index 1. Okay. Now let's increment j. 12 is not less than 9. So increment j. 2 is less than 9. So 2 plus 1 is 3. But 3 is equal to 3. So I prefer the latest value. And I update this with 3. And I update the subsequences array with the third index. Okay. You can either update or you can leave it. Means don't update. But I prefer the latest values. Okay. So now increment j. So 
check whether 10 is less than 9 no so only increment and now whether 6 is less than 9 yes so 3 plus 1 is 4 this 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 is greater than this 3 which is already present there so I update it with 4 okay and I write the index latest index that is 5 okay as j has reached i increment i and start from the beginning j will start at the beginning now check whether 0 is less than 13 yes so 1 plus 1 is 2 and update index 0 here and increment j again 4 is less than 13 yes so 2 plus 1 is 3 and 3 is greater than 2 so I update the length and I write index 1 here okay increment j 12 is less than 13 yes so 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 is greater than this 3 so I write 4 here and I update index 2 here so increment j now check 2 is le less than 13 yes and 2 plus 1 is 3 so this 2 plus 1 is 3 but already present length is 4 and this is greater so we prefer the already present length so there is no need of updating so only increment j now check whether 10 is less than 13 yes so already present length is 3 here so the length is 3 here 3 plus 1 is 4 and 4 is equal to 4 so we update and we write the latest one here so I update this value with 4 the latest value and index by the jth index so the latest index for the maximum length okay so I write 4 there and increment j so check whether 6 is less than 13 yes it is means 3 plus 1 becomes 4 so 4 is equal to 4 so I update the value with 4 and I write the latest index here that is 5 okay now uh, increment j 9 is less than 13 yes it is so 4 plus 1 is 5 and it is greater than the already present value so I update this with 5 and I write the current index that is 6 okay the latest index there and as j has reached i now i is incremented and j will start at the beginning so check whether 0 is less than 3 yes it is less than 3 so 1 plus 1 is 2 so I write here 2 and the index is 0 the previous index is 0 and we increment j now check whether 4 is less than 3 no it is not so increment j 12 is less than 3 it is not so increment j 2 is less than 3 yes it is less than 3 so the length 2 plus 1 so that is 3 so as 3 is greater than 2 I update this value to 3 and I prefer index 3 okay I choose the maximum now increment j see whether 10 is less than 3 no increment j 6 is less than 3 no so increment j 9 is less than 3 no so increment j 13 is less than 3 no so increment j but there is no scope of incrementing so i is incremented and j will again start from the beginning okay now 0 is less than 11 yes it is so 1 plus 1 is 2 so this value is updated to 2 and 0 is the previous index okay so and j is incremented now check whether 4 is less than 11 yes it is so length 2 plus 1 is 3 so 3 is maximum than the already present index so 3 is updated here and the preferred index for now is the first index okay the first index and increment j so 12 is less than 11 no so increment j 2 is less than 11 yes it is so length 2 plus 1 is 3 
3 is equal to 3. So, we keep, we update the value to the latest value that is 3 and we update the latest index here as the previous index. Okay. Now, increment j. See, whether 10 is less than 11, yes. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, we update 4 here because 4 is greater than the already present 3 and the previous index is 4. Now, increment j. Check. 6 is less than 11. Yes, it is. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is equal to 4. So, we update the value 4 and we keep the latest index here. So, that is 5. Okay. And we increment j. 9 is less than 11. Yes. So, 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 is greater than 4. So, we keep 5 here and the latest index is 6. Means the previous index. Now, j is incremented. 13 is less than 11. No, it is not. So, increment j, 3 is less than 11, yes, so 3 plus 1 is 4, but 4 is less than 5, so we don't update anything, okay, because already present 5 is greater than 4, so we increment j, but j has reached i now, so i is incremented and j will again start from the beginning, okay. Now, you can follow the same procedure for i equal to 10 and after you follow the procedure, you can see and when j will reach at 6, means the index 5, see here 6 is less than 7, so 3 plus 1 is 4, so I will update it as 4 and the latest index is 5. Remember, I have directly written this. I skipped the steps here. I directly went to the fifth index just for saving time. Now, j is incremented here. 9 is less than 7. No, it is not. 13, no. 3 is less than 7. But 3 plus 1 is 4. So, 4 is equal to 4. Means we update the value to 4. And we keep the latest index here as 8. Okay. And j is incremented. Now, 11 is less than 7. No, it is not. So, j has reached i. So, i is incremented. And j will start from beginning. Okay. Now, 0 is less than 15. Yes. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. And the index is updated to 0. Now, j is incremented. 4 is less than 15. Yes. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, 3 is greater than 2. So, 3 is updated here and the latest index is 1. Okay. This index. Now, j is incremented. See, 12 is less than 15. Yes. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is greater than 3. So, 4 is updated here and the previous index means index j is 2. Okay. Now, j is incremented. Again, 2 is less than 15, so 2 plus 1 is 3, but 3 is less than 4, so no updation. 3 is less than 4, so no updation needed and j is incremented. 10 is less than 15, so 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is equal to 4, so we keep the latest value 4 here and we update the latest index as 4. Because we prefer the latest value, okay. Even if 4 is equal to 4, we prefer the latest value. Now, j is incremented. See, 6 is less than 15, yes. So, 3 plus 1 is 4. So, the latest index is 5. Okay. And as you know, this value is again updated to 4 for the latest value. j is incremented. Again, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, See, this 4 plus 1 is 5. So, 5 is greater than 4. So, 5 is updated here. And 6 is the previous index. And j is incremented. Okay. Now, here 13 is less than 15. So, 5 plus 1 is 6. So, 6 is updated here. Because 6 is greater than 5. That is the already present value was 5. 
and 6 is greater than 5. So 6 is updated here and the index is 7. Okay, and j is incremented. Now, check 3 is less than 15, but 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 is less than 6, so no updation needed and j is incremented. Again, 11 is less than 15, so 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 is equal to 6, so latest index we keep here. We update this 6 to the latest 6 and latest index is 9 and j is incremented. Now, 7 is less than 15, but 4 plus 1 is 5, which is less than 6, so no updation needed and j has reached i. So this is the end of the loop. In this way, see the maximum length will be the maximum number in this array. Means the longest subsequence length will be the highest number in this array. So what is the highest number in this array? That number is 6. So 6 is the length of the longest increasing subsequence. And, and how to find out the actual subsequence? See. Go to the corresponding index of that cell for the maximum length subsequence. Go to the corresponding cell and check the index there. Okay. So, see, here we jump from 9th index. So, from 9th index we jump to the 11th index. Okay. Then, see, at the 9th index we jump from 6th index. Okay. At the 6th index, we jump from 5th index. At the 5th index, we jump from 3rd index. And at the 3rd index, we jump from 0th index. Okay, and 0th index is the starting. Right? So, this is the subsequence. So, I will tell you, see, index 0, then index 3, then index 5, index 6, 9 and 11. So I write it here. Index 0, then index 3, then index 5, then index 6, then index 9 and index 11. The last index. All the elements at these indices is the subsequence. So what are the elements? See at index 0, 0 is the element. At index 3, 2 is the element, then at index 5, 6 is the element, then at index 9, 11 is the element, 11, and at index 11, 15 is the element. Okay, so what is the subsequence? 0, 2, 6, 11, 15, means 0, 2, 6, 11, 15. This is the longest increasing subsequence present in this array. So this is how we find out the longest increasing subsequence. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.